Hey everyone, and thanks for joining us for Inside the Lab. We work on a lot of different technologies here at Meta, everything from virtual reality to designing our own data centers. And we are particularly focused on foundational technologies that can make entirely new things possible. And today, we're going to focus on perhaps the most important foundational technology of our time, artificial intelligence. We're gonna share some breakthroughs in our AI research and some of the problems that we need to solve as we build for the metaverse. The kinds of experiences that you'll have in the metaverse are beyond what is possible today. It's an immersive version of the internet. Instead of just looking at something on a screen, you're gonna actually feel like you're inside it or right there present with another person. And that's going to require advances across a whole range of areas, from new hardware devices to software for building and exploring worlds. And the key to unlocking a lot of these is advances in AI. So let's take a look at some of the challenges that we're working on. First, creating a new generation of assistants that will help us explore new worlds. Today, a lot of AI research is focused on understanding the physical world. But in the metaverse, we're going to need AI that is built around helping people navigate virtual worlds as well as our physical world with augmented reality. And because these worlds will be dynamic and always changing, AI is going to need to be able to understand context and learn in the way that humans do. And when we have glasses on our faces, that will be the first time that an AI system will be able to really see the world from our perspective, see what we see, hear what we hear, and more. So the ability and expectation that we have for AI systems is going to be much higher. Now, we are already using simpler machine learning systems to parse information for us today. Every time you get a recommendation or search for something or even take a photo on a phone, there is machine learning in the background. Computing is also becoming increasingly contextual. Instead of this static experience that's the same no matter where you are, the way that we use computers now adapts much more to what you're doing. And as devices have gotten better at understanding and anticipating what we want, they've also gotten more useful. Now, I expect that these trends will only increase in the future. The metaverse will consist of immersive worlds that you can create and interact with, with all the visual information that includes, like your position in 3D space, your, your body language, facial gestures, and so on. And this is all from your first-person perspective. So you experience it and move through it as if you are really there. And all that adds up to a lot more input to be processed and a lot more content to be generated. So we're going to need help navigating all of this efficiently. And the work that we do to build this is going to pave the way for assistance that can move between virtual and physical worlds too. A key part of this effort is building better models for richer and deeper communication between people and AI. So today, we are announcing Project Karaoke, which is a fully end-to-end -end neural model for building on-device assistance. It combines the approach behind BlenderBot with the latest in conversational AI to deliver better dialogue capabilities. And from there, to support true world creation and exploration, we need to advance well beyond the current state of the art for smart assistants. So we're working on two areas of AI research to make this possible. Egocentric perception, which is about seeing worlds from a first-person perspective, and a whole new class of generative AI models that help you create anything that you can imagine. Now, here's an AI concept that we created called BuilderBot, which showcases this work. It enables you to describe a world, and then it will generate aspects of that world for you. So let's take a look at how this works. Hey, BuilderBot. First, let's start with the scene. Let's go to a park. Actually, let's go to the beach. Pretty good. Let's add some clouds. Huh, that's all AI generated. Actually, let's add some alto cumulus clouds. All right. And let's add an island over there. It's cool. How about we add some trees out here by the by the sand? 
Let's get a picnic blanket down here. Let's put up a table. Let's put a stereo. Let's get some drinks as well. Let's get the sound of some waves and seagulls. Does that speaker work? Let's play some tropical music. And let's add a hydrofoil. You gotta have a hydrofoil. You gotta teach me how to ride one in VR. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good, right?